Thanks for tuning in. I'm Monica Miller Rogers with HXGN TV, and today we have Andrea Biazion with Like a Geo Systems and Will Henningsen of the Omaha City Police Department. Thank you, gentlemen, for joining us. My pleasure. Thank you. Today Happy we are to talking you. about the Leica Scan Station P50. From bridge analysis to crash scene investigations, there are certain safety risks on these scenes. With the P50 and up to one kilometer range of scanning, we are increasing the safety without sacrificing the accuracy. So to start with, Andrea, let's, could you just tell us more about this innovation? Yes, so the Scan Station P50 is the first step of Leica in the, in the field of the long-range terrestrial laser scanning. And um, we, we, we added the, 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 the range uh, to the well-known features of the P-series, like uh, ease of use, um, versatility, data quality, HDR imaging, uh, simplicity. And now we are able to measure up to one kilometer range. And we made it uh, giving a bit more power to every laser pulse emitted and being a bit more sensitive in the received pulse. And what need was there in the market that you were seeing to create this type of technology? Well, the main need we, we try to serve is the, is the, is the range. So there are different applications where, where the range is needed. Um, co engineering company uh, that uh, survey uh, big infrastructures as, uh, as uh, bridges, dams, tall buildings, they will appreciate the, the extended range. Uh, but one of the positive side, side effects of the, of the increased range uh, is that we also increase the sensitivity in short range, which means that uh, uh, difficult surfaces are no longer a problem to be scanned in the close range, like black, black cars, which are typical, difficult to be scanned. And what other benefits are users going to see when they use the P50? Well, the main benefit is uh, to be able to scan dangerous and uh, inaccessible sites from a safe distance. Uh, then also for, for engineering companies, for example, uh, to be able to scan a, big, a tall building in one scan uh, or a long, long bridge without moving too much, so less setups, more efficiency on the field. And also to consider is the fact that uh, the longer range gives you more points and the registration is, um, is, uh, works much better with, with more points, the cloud-to-cloud -cloud registration. Yeah. And Will, you're actually using the P50 with the Omaha Police Department. Can you tell us more about your uh, organization? Yes, um, I'm the Forensic Manager for the Forensic Investigations Unit for the Omaha Police Department. We are a multidisciplinary forensic unit. We do crime scene investigation, firearms examination, latent prints, forensic video, among other things. Uh, and we're also ISO 1720 accredited. Uh, one of the accreditation factors that we have is forensic mapping. And so Leica helped us meet those standards. Um, we use these on a regular basis. It's part of our everyday workflow. And how has the P50 changed the way that you work? The biggest thing it has changed for us is it's given us versatility and productivity. We have uh, an incredibly diverse set of scenes that we have to scan. Some of them are a few feet in a room and some of them are over two or three kilometers long. What we can do with something like the P50 is we can take advantage of the different distance measurement modes. We can get close, short scans with really high quality or when we're in an open space like we were recently at a fatal aircraft crash we can reach out and great, get registrable materials way out there in the distance. And so my folks don't have to use targets on scene. They can capture more data with fewer setups, just like Andrea said. And the biggest part of that is less time on scene. We deliver the data and the evidence faster. And for other organizations like yours, what would you say to them if they were considering making a purchase of the P50? Uh, I'd, I'd say it's an incredibly versatile machine. It, it, has, it gives you a lot of options on scene, gives you a lot of options back in the office with the quality of the data that you get. And for me, at the end of the day, the biggest part of it is the accuracy out of the machine and the verifiable accuracy of the machine. Okay. And gentlemen, to both of you, where do you see this type of technology taking the future of the industry? For us in the police department, where I see it taking us, we probably will not see the true value of see these things for a few more years, although virtual reality is progressing faster than I would have ever imagined. Uh, it's becoming much cheaper. 
but these data sets are going to feed the cold case investigations that are coming for the next generation of, of forensic investigators, homicide investigators, and those folks are going to have access to things that we never would have even thought of. Uh, the best part about it is we can give that, and we're starting a pilot program on it right now, to put these point clouds immediately into use in virtual reality so that our detectives and our investigators have access to them. Those folks who were doing interviews while we were at the scene, they can now put themselves back in the scene. Incredible. I think that our main, main challenge for the future is to make uh, our technology even uh, more easy to use and more accessible to to our customers. I think that's the, the main goal for us for the future. Well, thank you both gentlemen for coming on and sharing your insights with us today. No problem. For more information about today's topic, please visit leica-geosystems.com and police.cityofomaha.org. To watch more episodes, tune in to hxgnspotlight.com. Thanks for watching.